Hey folks, welcome back to another Destiny 2 video. Today we're going to be looking at some 180 RPM hand cannon cannons, well just one actually, um, that I believe is going to be one of the best weapons for kinetic exotic in uh, Beyond Light for PvE or PvP. Alright, so the exotic we're going to be looking at is Malfeasance, which is acquired through a gambit quest from the Drifter. Uh, shooting tainted slugs that become buried into their target, stacking. Uh, enough of those will cause them all to explode. You have to stack five within a single target um, in order for that to work. Also comes with Taken Predator, bonus damage against Taken and invaders inside of Gambit. Now just a quick note on Gambit, a reminder that it, Gambit's changing next season, so we're only going to have one activity, I think Prime they're keeping. Um, so I think you'll still be able to get this, however, if you don't have it already, I highly suggest going for it in the few days we have left. Um, here I'm pairing it with Night Stalker, I'm going to run Middle Tree uh, with Vortex Grenade, and then um, also using Tatara Gaze from the Foundries which uh, you can acquire as well from Ada one And then of course here, just running it with my favorite uh, exotic chest piece, which is the Dragon Shadow for the Hunter. Um, one of the best chest pieces in the game. So here's gonna be a mix of gameplay between Malfeasance and Tatara Gaze uh, sniper rifle. Um, couldn't grab that many clips out of two games with Malfeasance, um, nothing too crazy. It just didn't work out that way. So speaking of Malfeasance and its versatility within PvP, uh, specifically first, 180 RPM hand cannons, we're not really sure what's going to happen with them when this next expansion drops. Uh, we know they're going to be a little bit more relevant, especially with 150s going away. Um, that just created too much of a problem in the sandbox for them to tackle. Um, so 150s, all of them except Sunshot, I believe, are going down to 140. I'm curious what they're going to do with stuff like Not Forgotten or Mini Powell. Um, but Malfeasance is a 180. Um, but not only is it a 180 and we're not sure what's going to happen to that archetype, it also gets enhanced by the buff to um, hand cannons, which is a 40% boost in uh, magazine size, which for 180 RPM hand cannons um, is very helpful. And then you take a, lo a look at something like Malfeasance, it already has 15. Um, so, you know, 40% of that would be at least 6 bullets, uh, bringing it up to 21, um, which is fantastic. Being able to actually utilize the exotic perk four times into a single target in PvE um, is going to be great. Now the exotic perk, it doesn't come quite in handy in PvP. I think a few times I might have been able to sink five slugs into one guardian in their super, um, but not really something that comes into play often. One of my personal favorite things about this hand cannon though is its uh, versatility between activities. It truly is something you can bring with you into strikes, nightfalls, PvP, um, and still be lethal. It's um, nothing you really need to swap out. Um, always great to have on your side. And on top of that, it doesn't hurt that the weapon absolutely looks fantastic. Um, I, I understand I have an ornament on it now, um, but whoever designed this weapon slash ornament, uh, kudos to them because it came out beautifully. I think here real quick, I just outplayed this golden gun. It's kind of funny. I know he's pushing down for me, so I'm going to jump over, I'll slide towards him, go for quick scope, body shot. Unfortunately, I didn't hit that other guy. That would have been nice. Now, um, another thing I'm just kind of curious about with this expansion dropping is, um, at least I haven't looked into it, is Catalyst. What's dropping for what weapons and what are we going to be able to get uh, day one, week one? Will Malfeasance have a Catalyst? If so, what is it going to do? Will Thorn have a long overdue Catalyst? Um, there's there's many different guns in the game that need catalysts um, just to make them feel a little bit more exotic and some need it more than others now just to speculate on catalysts real quick um, I think something like the malfeasance here that we're using and talking about if it had a catalyst um, I don't think at this point with the buff to am animal co ammo economy <laughs> that it would do anything else to that but maybe something like boosting its range its stability for a precise precision 180 um, hand cannon is already, in my opinion, one of the most stable hand cannons in the game. Uh, it's up there with something like Luna's Howl. 
um, which is extremely precise as well. Yeah, I'll be curious as to what you guys think as far as the utility of Malfeasance going forward. Um, there's such a big arsenal of weapons, even just exotics, that obviously they're all going forward into Beyond Light, um, that have contention to be top tier or something viable. A lot of people will use their exotics a lot as they're heavy, um, which is totally fine. Um, so what's the draw to Malfeasance? And I think it's really going to be the, um, the ammo going from 15 to 21. I mean, you'll practically never feel like you have to reload the weapon, which is, I think, going to feel fantastic for a hand cannon, especially at 180 RPM when you're just blowing through the magazine and shooting round after round after round, or slug after slug after slug, I should say. Kind of reflecting back on when, um, I forget what season it was exactly, when Malfeasance came about. It was very sought after just because, one, every, anytime a new exotic comes out, it's sought after. Um, highly by all players, but it was unique because Gambit had you had to wait for this quote-unquote meatball to spawn, and you had to kill it. And if you if it spawned and you didn't kill it, you didn't progress in that particular step in Malfeasance's quest. Um, also, that pairing with um, it needed to be acquired for, I believe, the collection stab, but as well as the dredge and seal. Um, so it was kind of holding a lot of players back. It was kind of the one missing link. People were getting very frustrated with the uh, chance of getting the meatball to spawn, if you will. Um, but And then Bungie inevitably increased the chances, um, just given the situation that, the, and the feedback from the community that was happening at the time. Now, taking some look at some clips here. Um, again, I can't get over the stability this hand cannon has. Uh, it feels fantastic. It's going to stay on your target when you aim it. It's... It looks nice, it's fun to shoot, it's got its un a unique sound to it. This guy whiffs his, whiffs his Nova Bomb here. I think I take his re ran out of metals away from him. Let's see. Crown is mine, yep. Um, that guy was dominating our team with Ace of Spades. Going here to this Titan. Just blowing through the shield. I don't know what he was doing. I think here he's doing it again. Like, what? I don't, I don't understand. Um, but that brings us to the end of this video, guys. Please make sure to like and subscribe.